Welcome back to the last lesson of the Book Binding e-course. This is lesson 5. We'll be completing your book cover as well as your entire book. Let's get started. To create a book cover, you can choose to use a variety of materials. Fabric, leather or decorative paper are some examples. In this course, we'll be using a piece of decorative paper for the book cover. Align your in paper on the underside of the decorative paper. Do leave a small gap between each paper. The gap should be around 1mm. Then mark out the measurements for each in paper on the underside of your decorative paper. Alternatively, you can refer to the measurements that you have noted down in yesterday's lesson. Once you have all the measurements marked out, add an additional 3mm to all the book borders. This will allow you to fold in the decorative paper later. Once you're done marking out the measurements, cut your decorative paper according to your markings. Do remember that this book cover will wrap the entire book, so there should only be one final piece of book cover after you have done the marking and cutting. Then align your in paper along the measurements that you have marked up on the underside of the decorative paper. Check that there are gaps between each section of in paper and that there are excess decorative paper along all the book borders. Mark out each corner of the in paper clearly. Then trim each corner of the decorative paper diagonally. This will ease the process of folding in the book borders later. Repeat this for all corners. And it's now time to complete your book cover. Again, prepare some glue. Spread an even layer of glue over the underside of your decorative paper. Then align your in paper according to the measurements that you have marked out and paste it onto the decorative paper. Do this for all your in paper sections. Next, use your bone scorer to get rid of all spaces that may have been caught during the pasting process. Press in an outwards direction from the center of the in paper towards the border. This process also allows you to push out excess glue onto the book borders, ensuring that your book cover is even. Once you're done, it's time to fold in your book borders. Again, apply a thin even layer of glue along your book border. Then using your bone scorer, bend in the corners of your book border first before pasting in the rest of the book border. Repeat this for all four book borders. Do take note of the corners of the book borders. Make sure that there is no gaps between the decorative paper and the in paper. Once you're done folding in all the book borders, rest your book cover under your cutting mat or under any weight that covers the entire book cover and let the glue dry. Once the glue has dried, it's finally time to complete your book project. First, spread an even layer of glue on one side of your book as well as on the book spine. Then align your book onto the book cover and paste it on. Use your bone scorer to get rid of any air bubbles and excessive glue. Repeat this on both sides of the book cover, the external side and the internal side. Make sure to push the air bubble out in an outward direction. Then repeat for the other cover and stick it down. And we're done with your book project. 
Congratulations! However, your book is not quite ready yet. Do leave your handmade book under some weights or heavy books to let it dry for at least an hour before using. And congratulations, you have completed this free book binding e-course. If you have enjoyed this, do join us at the live workshop where we will provide you with all the materials and tools that you need. At the live workshop, you will also be guided by an experienced book binding enthusiast who will be able to point out mistakes that you should avoid as well as guide you personally during your book binding process. Go to www.bookbindingworkshopsg.com for details of the upcoming workshops. Also, let us know what you thought about this free course. Feel free to email us at contact us at bookbindingworkshopsg.com or PM us on Facebook at Craft Addicts. Thank you very much for sticking with us through this course. We hope that you have had fun and also learned about the process of bookbinding. I hope to see you soon. Bye!